this is section nine, number two. This is asking us to look at triangle JKL undergo the reflection in the given line. You're going to determine the next coordinate of triangle J prime, K prime, and L prime. I just move these so we can have room so we can see it much better, All right? So what I have here is the rules or from before that we should have memorized for the final. For A, it asks us to look at the x-axis, so I'm going to grab that rule here. Uh, for B, it says the y-axis, so I'm going to grab the rule here. And then for the last one, A is y equals to x, so I'm just going to grab the rule here. All right, so now we can just apply the rules and just take a look, okay? So the first one, let's take a look at J prime. J prime, it looks like um, all the values are the same, but it is just that the y value changes. So this is two comma negative four, but the negative now becomes a positive, okay? Next, we have k prime, three comma seven, but that seven is now a negative seven. L prime, six comma negative one, but that negative one is now a positive one. So those would be your new points based on that reflection on the x-axis. B, it looks like we changed the sign on the x value for the reflection over the y-axis. So J prime, it is five comma three, but now there is a negative in front of the five. K prime, one comma negative two, but now there is a negative in front of that one. Then we have L prime, which is negative three comma four, and now that negative three becomes a positive three. C, when we reflect it over y equals to x, it seems like the x and y value switches spots. So j prime, the negative one goes in, for, in front and then followed by that two. K prime, originally it was four comma negative five, but now the negative five goes in front. Then lastly, the L, prime it was originally three comma one now that it is one comma three so these are your new points based on the transformation rules on the reflection